Um, and then this section here, the top 15 factors, this uh, is aggregated data from, from Quora as to the top 15 factors that are, that are correlating to rank right now uh, across all data sets. And so in here, you can go and you can see what are the current uh, ranking factors. Uh, and they are here. And this is also, again, in the free section, this will always be free. Um, you'll notice that some things like SpyFu and SEM Russia are ranking highly. I know that there's some questions about that, Ted. Um, do you want to give a, a three second response on why those things show? Yeah, we, we don't pick this list. This is what has got the strongest correlation. In the paid section, we blow it out to 100 top factors or more even. Uh, and we have uh, data that shows what the, the measurements are. So it's kind of a mystery why pay-per-click is correlating so strongly with rank position in Google right now. We don't know why that is the case. Uh, but it's interesting that that is the case right now. Uh, so if somebody from SpyFu or from SEM Rush has some insights about to why they correlate with ranking so strongly right now, we would love to have you on the show to discuss that. Is there a possibility that SpyFu is really tapping into it at the moment? What's that? Is there a possibility that SpyFu is really getting it right? Uh, well, it, it's something about these, you know, the organic value of the traffic and, you know, these are like pay-per-click metrics. Mm -hmm. There's something about that right now that's, that's, yeah, it looks like it's related to why things rank well. And so I, I think we need more uh, research and we need more testing into these pay-per-click uh, attributes and whether or not they impact ranking. Sure. I do like that uh, Google result has published date. Um, you know, we are in the brand new year. I can see people updating uh, their content to be 2020 type of content. I can see that correlating highly to rank. Well, that's madness because John Mueller just said that it doesn't work. I know. That's what I've been loving because <laughs> I, saw, I saw that article. Actually, it was great. I got a ping about that article from uh, the, the headlines. Yeah. John Mueller mocks this thing. And then I'm looking at the number two correlating factor across all <laughs> Web, I'm well, like, you know, there's this interesting phenomenon, like, you know, for a long time, people said that click through rate is a uh, ranking factor. And I, you know, I, being a geek, I would make bots and I'd test it and I'd never get the needle to move under scientific scrutiny for a CTR bot. Uh, but yet there's all these studies where manual CTR was moving the needle. And, and I believe them to be true, but I'm like, you know, we don't really understand a thing if we can't automate it. Um, <clears throat> and then Lee Witcher, uh, IMG tester, he figured out what was moving the needle for click-through rate. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe he figured this out. He cracked CTR. Um, and what, you know, the, the basic fallout, I'm not going to tell you how to do it. Uh, that's Lee's research. <clears throat> But the basic fallout of that is that most people will do a thing incorrectly. They'll do it in a way where it doesn't get the result they're expecting. And it could very well be the case that with the published dates, there is a way that you need to do it to get it to work. And if you do it in a, you know, obviously fake way that maybe you don't get the benefit of doing it. So maybe you're not doing the published date in the way that gets the benefit. Yeah. Um, and so more research and testing needs to go into that. It can't just be a simple test. You have to look at all the different ways and try to distinguish which ways work and which ways don't. 